everybody welcome to dinner and a tip my name is Brenda I'm gonna be your cooking guide today so today we're gonna to do a creamy Tuscan shrimp and what I'm gonna do is we're also gonna have some green beans in a sweet Thai chili sauce to start with the green beans you're gonna to want to get some oil on them and then we'll put a little oil on the grill but you just want to make sure that's covered so for today's tip if you haven't tried the bouillon this comes in lots of different flavors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix a little bit of this so when I'm steaming the green beans, it's gonna have a little extra flavor to it. So go ahead and throw down a little of this. The green beans are what takes the longest, so I wanna get those started first. And then we're gonna hit just a little bit of this to get them steamed. And I like to cover the green beans first. So now we're gonna work on the sauce for the Tuscan shrimp. So I'm just doing one cup of heavy cream. I've got about a half a cup of that bouillon that I just showed you how to mix up. You can kind of see all the flavors that are getting in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start this at like a low to medium heat. We don't want this to a, a small boil, but not to, you don't want to roll in boil, you're going to end up cooking the cream down and that's not going to be what you want. We've got these green beans, we're going to go ahead and give a quick toss. And these don't take a, lo a long time, so I'm just going to go ahead and give it a little bit more of that steam. So next we're going to do, the vegetables I'm using today are, I'm going to do some mushrooms, onions, you want to throw down just a little bit of oil for these. So I'm going to go ahead and do some mushrooms. I've got some leftover marinated artichoke hearts, I'm going to throw those in. some onions and shallots. If you're not like me and you're not great at chopping this thing, 30 bucks Amazon, one good pound. Perfectly cut shallots. Find a little room over here for them. With these vegetables, you want to probably cook them more at a medium. I'm actually going to throw a little bit of tomato. You could do either fresh tomatoes or sun-dried tomatoes. Basically, all of these toppings are just personal choice toppings. There we go. Have to get a little aggressive with this sometimes. There we go. And one more. And then I'm gonna get those. So next, with your shrimp, you're going to if they're already pink, they're already pre-cooked, and so this only takes a minute to cook, so you don't want to have this more than two or three minutes on the grill. If they are like the gray color, those are fresh that haven't been cooked, those take just a little extra time. So, go ahead and get, you can mix all these vegetables together for cooking. Uh, nothing better than fresh steamed, fresh grilled vegetables. And you can see we've got the green beans that come along good. And to pick up your green beans, actually, I like to do the. This is just a Thai chili sauce. You can get this at Walmart. They've got lots of different brands. So I'm just going to hit that a little bit. This has a little heat, not that much, but it just, I don't know, to me it just brings the green bean flavors just to the next level. I'm going to go ahead and cook that down. Put it back up. So we're getting just a little boil on this, so this is 
right where we need that to be. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick all of our vegetables in here and then I'm going to work on our shrimp. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to do a little baby spinach in here too. And give that spinach just a little bit of time to cook down. So. You can do this with chicken as well, um, but we're going with shrimp today. So, I'm gonna go ahead for our shrimp. We're just gonna throw a couple pats of butter down. You could do oil if you're wanting to cut down on some calories and not do the butter. But if you're doing shrimp, you gotta do the butter as far as I'm concerned. So, our shrimp is just gonna pop on here. Get the full contact. I'm going to do a little minced garlic. Seasoning, I'm going to do a Tuscan herb. I'm going to hit that in here too a little bit. And then I also like the citrus for the shrimp. This has got some garlic and uh, a couple other seasonings. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this shrimp. Just looking to get a little color, a little heat on those since these were already pre-cooked. All right. Gonna give that spinach a little bit of time to cook down in there. Basically, and now we're gonna while that's cooking, I'm just going to add probably about a half a cup of Parmesan. And that shrimp looks like it needs to be, so we're going to go ahead and add that. Going to check on those green beans. You can see that sauce is on there. Those look perfect. Go ahead and do one more little mix here. So if you like your sauce to be a little thicker, you do have the option of doing some cornstarch and water. If you ever do cornstarch, you don't want to put it directly in here. It'll make everything clumpy. You're going to need to add a little bit of water and then just add a little bit. This is really going to help thicken everything up. So there we go. And so we had a little spaghetti left over from last night. So the tip with your spaghetti, if you're gonna reuse it the next day, hit, make sure you cool it off with cold water and then just do a little bit of oil on it. And that way it'll keep it from sticking. So because of that oil, it's coming back to life here a little bit. You don't have to do the spaghetti, you could just do this straight. So I'm gonna go ahead, take a taste. You can see that's bubbling, so we're gonna slow that, take that actually off the heat now that we're pretty much done with everything. You can smell the, all of the herbs and everything in here, so I'm just gonna try the shrimp and a little spinach. This is probably a $20 meal. For a family of four to six. We'll actually have leftovers for tomorrow, but go ahead and subscribe. See what we're cooking later. Thanks.